Hello OFW fans, welcome to OFW Extreme, I am of course Matthews, welcoming you to the show and guess what, this is the final Extreme, then in two weeks time, it is Dystopia, you do not want to miss it fans, welcome you tonight, tonight though it's a special night, there is no breaks, no backstage things, no interviews, nothing, it is just going to be straight action, here tonight on OFW, eight card lineup. It's a special one, and also what makes this special is the fact now that we can record or put in one part up to 15 minutes instead of 10. So now the map episodes will be shorter, but there'll be more action going on in one part than before. You don't want to miss it, fans are saying. And Matthews, welcoming you here tonight. We've got an excellent lineup of matches, and of course the main event tonight. Could be one of the biggest main events so far we've ever had. Six man tag team, Craig McDaniels, Stephen Clark, and Keith Kazarian taking on the Lizard, Sid, and Dustin Clark. That is going to be one hell of a main event here tonight. We've got other matches coming up. This is the final episode for Dystopia. You don't, this is going to be, you know, starting off things and as we're saying, starting off things, we're saying right now we've got a PD Skag taking on Kid Nitro. Of course, these two are going to be meeting T Bone and Keith Kazarian in the United States Championship Fatal Four Way. So it's going to be really interesting to see. Maybe these two are going to try and get leverage and a leg up on each other in the swing. Look at this Kid Nitro there, face plant him. So welcoming you here to RFW Extreme. We're kicking straight into the action here tonight. It's just going to be complete action all the way you don't want to miss the fans it's going to be amazing to see and wait a minute now Peter Skaggs and oh that big power bomb and wait a minute now Peter Skaggs going for a pin he's going to get it no I didn't even get a one count there Kid Nitro kicked out so we don't want to miss it here tonight after episode, after this episode there will be a video being coming out showing the card for this Topia it is going to be an impressive card you don't want to miss it look at Kid Nitro there uh, saying that Kid Nitro wait a minute I'm going for a pin here Ooh. I was saying, fans, I apologise, my uh, mic. I seem to be having mic technical problems yet again. I, I, I don't know why, but you know, we'll get it sorted. And when I look at this piece, Gags here with some mission. No, Kid Nitro flips it over. So we've got it slow now. We've got Adrian Cole versus Adam, Christy Bob versus Rose. We've got Rage versus Lucas Hart. We're in a pin. Masaru Gucci versus Andre Perfection. Enforcers versus Bimbo Bobo. Cornerstone versus Toxix. It's going to be a crazy night. It's just all these matches pretty much building up to this Topia. And of course, let's talk about some. Well, why is matches going on? We'll talk about some of the matches that will be going on at this Topia. Peter Skaggs versus Kid Nitro versus. Uh, Keith Kazarian versus T-Bone, Fatal 4-Way United States title match, there's a Hardcore Championship Scramble, Tag Team title match, uh, there's a Women's Championship match, then we've got Serenity, Kazarian and Chris Barber in a tables match, we've got of course the World Title semi-final matches which consists of Sid taking on Adrian Cole and Adam taking on Dustin Clark, of course the finals will be for the World Title of the two semi-final matches there, Go at this cruiserweight six man ladder match. That is going to be an interesting one to see. They're saying that's dystopia. That's two weeks away. I'm excited about dystopia, fans. And right now, to see Kid Nitro here. Saw him in episode one. This is his second, I believe, his second match. And oh my god, look at that kick to the face there. Second million. There's a pin. One. There's only a one count. I'm saying this is Kid Nitro's second match here. Peace Gag's second match. They're both trying to leave an impression here in OFW. And both one of these men, or you know, the other two could become United States champion. Right now, Peter Skaggs here. Bro, Kid Nitro look like he's gonna throw him into the barricade. I'm saying after this, we're gonna have a tag team matchup. It's the Enforcers and Bimbar Bo and Boba, I believe, going off. That's going to be interesting to see. And of course, the enforcers will be meeting Cornerstone at Dystopia. Right now, Peter Skaggs here taunting. Trying to get uh, Kid Nitro. There goes Kid Nitro. Wait, Kid Nitro. Kid Nitro with a big splash off the middle rope. And that's suddenly Kid Nitro booting Peter Skaggs into the back. And Kid Nitro 
is feeling it here. I mean, let's face it, two weeks' time, he could become the United States champion. It's August 29th, it's dystopia. Basically, after after this week, it's the second weekend, so I believe it's two weeks, not this week, but next week. It's the Sunday next week, so yeah, it's week, two weeks, give or take. It's August 29th, you don't want to miss it. Try and come in for 12, if you're coming for 12 p.m. in the American time, uh, there will be a stream of it, so you don't want to miss the stream. It's going to be a crazy uh, CPV to return for OFW. Since we've been returned, we've been getting a lot of fans uh, saying welcome back, and we do appreciate all the fan support. And we are coming back with it. Look at this here. Oh my god, standing moonsault. Humongous standing moonsault. Here's a pin. One, two. No, PD Skaggs kicks out there. Suddenly now, P. Skaggs is not looking good. Oh, no oh, punches. Reverses. Wait a minute. Oh, look at that. Jumps up. Hurricane Rana. Wait a minute now. Look at this. My god, look at this. Spins round. Kicks P. Skaggs in the face. Jumping off the big splash down. Oh, wait a minute now. One, two. That was his finish. And there it is. It's all over here, fans. Congratulations to Kid Nitro. Pinning P. Skaggs here tonight. Full momentum heading into Dystopia, but he's got to worry about PD Skaggs, Keith Kazarian, and T Bone as he's going to be in the fatal four way United States Championship match. Now, congratulations to Kid Nitro. The same fans we are rolling on here. Right now we got the enforcers coming out here, Arnie and Frank taking on Bimbo and Bobo. And this is going to be an interesting match to see here, Bimbo and Bobo has somehow got a lot of fan support recently. I don't know how, but right now come the enforcers, most probably the most powerful tag team in OFW as they stand. And they're going to be going against the clown duo of Bimbo and Bobo, I say the enforcers are going to be really interesting to watch and wrestle. Of course, Arnie made it so that his team could be in the final against Cornerstone. Frank did come up short. And uh, Arnie, I've been hearing in the back that uh, Arnie has been kind of, you know, oh, look at this here. It's Bimbo and Bobo. I'm sorry, but whatever I'm saying, you know, look at this. Bimbo and Bobo, they're just full and excited to be out here. Wrestling for you fans, that's what they like the most. That's what I was saying, Arnie, recently in the back has been a bit thin, saying that you noticed that it was him that picked up the win and not Frank. And maybe some kind of little riff, I don't know, but they've got to stay focused to uh, win the tag titles again uh, at Dystopia. But of course, Cornerstone is not going to make it easy for him. Cornerstone, former FW Tag Team Champs before, maybe they can do it again. Now it's uh, Bimbo Bobo doing a very strange entrance indeed. That is one strange entrance, I have to admit there. Okay, right now saying this match is going to get on the way in a minute soon. Speaking of the forums, we've been hearing a lot about uh, going on and saying later on tonight it's Andre Perfection versus Masaru Gucci. And on the forum, uh, we heard uh, Andre Perfection saying that he's going to destroy Masaharu Gucci here tonight, then go to Dystopia and become the perfect Intercontinental Champion. Some harsh words there coming from Andre Perfection. Right now, all this a big kick by Arnie. And here we go, Bobo's got Arnie and Arnie's trying to fight out here. Look at this. And oh, and he punches Bobo in the face or elbows him, apologise. Bimbo now. This could be the advantage. Bimbo needs all this diving head, but. And now Bimbo, Bobo, I mean Bimbo and Bobo are, are most, um, well look at this there, so I'll say working really well together on the start off gates. Look at this, drop toe hold, elbow to the back of Arnie. Bobo now. Oh wait, now Arnie punches Bobo in the face. And uh, Arnie now, lock up, headlock by Bobo. Oh and Arnie pushes him down. And uh, Frank looks like he's getting impatient. In the, in, in the corner there, like he wants to get a tag in. Look at this, he's coming back over to try and see if Arnie can tag him in. And Arnie does not seem to want to tag in. 
uh, Frank here in this matchup and Bobo now taking the advantage and it seems Frank wants the tag and yet and yet and Omni is yet not tagged in that is pretty strange I've got to admit there and I'm saying speaking of tags look at this here look at setting him down and Bimbo jumps over and there and there's Pin and Noon I'm saying if Bimbo and Bobo beat the forces here I mean surely that could put him in some sort where the hell's Frank gone where the hell's Frank oh, there he is I was going to say maybe he fell off the side I'm not too sure there but I was going to say if Bimbo and Bobo win here tonight then you know maybe that could put him up in a future title shot either against you know enforcers or cornerstone we don't know but look at Frank here he's getting impatient on the side and looks like he wants to tag in I mean can you blame him Oh, there's a big kick yet again by Arnie. Look at this now. Frank's shouting stuff, saying, tagging in. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. There's a big... There's a big slam down. I apologize. I forgot the name of the move here. Oh, wait a minute now. Oh, look at this. Is it going to be the security check? And there it was. Security check out. I know where Frank runs in. Close lines. One, two, three. And it's over just like that. But look at... I mean, look at that. Arnie did not even need to tag Frank in, it seemed. Look at that. Arnie had the match covered. Is that a good thing? I'm not too sure. But Arnie, it looks like he had the match covered. Frank, you know, he does not seem to be complaining here. But it looked like Frank wanted to tag in earlier on the match. I'm not too sure. But fans, we need to go to a break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs> 